some ninjas rose here welcome back to the channel thank you so much for 1000 subscribers and do well to subscribe if you are new here today we want to talk about geometric progression you can check for arithmetic progression from the previous video for any nth term the formula is a r n minus one we said that you always have to know the formula so that when you are given a question you can solve so this a is called the first term of the sequence or the series right n is your nth term meaning whatever it is that you have been asked to find and then r is known as your common ratio note that this is the formula for finding the geometric progression of any given sequence or series given a question like this we're asked to find the sixth term of this series right so this is um, a geometric series from looking at it so first things first you have to know your formula which says t tenth nth term is a r n minus one remember that we said a is your first term right but before then what is the nth term we're asked to find six terms so t6 is what a is your first term so what's our first term here 16 times r is what your common ratio and how is common ratio gotten common ratio is your second term over your first term or your third term over your second term whichever one you want to pick you just know that it's this over divided by the previous term so r is the second term is eight divided by the first term is 16 so we have one over two right you can leave it in fraction or you can leave it in decimal whichever one is fine so we know that our r is one over one over two so n is what n is six because you are asked to find the sixth term so six minus one so going on moving on you can keep solving you have 16 make sure you do what is in the bracket first as always so we know that one over two is raised to the power of what six minus one is what is five so using your calculator you can look for this we have 16 times one raised to the power of five is one two raised to the power of five is what 30 so right so now you have 16 times one which is 16 divided by 32 we have that t6 is what 16 over 32 so t6 is what 16 here 1 16 here 2 so you are left with 1 over 2 so it means when you keep going your sixth term will be 1 over 2 i hope you understand that so this is 1 2 3 4 the next one will be something and then the next one will be 1 over 2 in mathematics we use letters to represent things so s here re represents sum of anything either the ap or your gp okay and now we also know that formulas are very important in mathematics so once you know your formula you know what next to do and how to apply it so we have a case like this when r that's its absolute value is less than one you have this formula you have one minus that means r is a fraction in this case yeah r is less than one but in a case like this where you have r minus one instead of one minus r you know that the absolute value of r is greater than one meaning it is more than one right it's either one five you know just not a fraction right so you have to know these two different formulas before you can solve an example so given a question like this, I haven't known or learned the formula for the sum of a geometric progression. You are asked to find the sum of the first eight term of this series. Realize that this is a series because you have a plus in between. If you have a comma, it is a sequence. Okay, so now we said the first thing you have to know is your formula. But how can we know the formula to use until we are able to know our R? If it's less than one we we'll know that oh, we will use this formula for one minus r but if it is greater than one we know we use the formula for r minus one so let's find our r so r is what t2 over t1 or t3 over t2 or t4 over you know you keep going so your second term is two your first term is one so two over one is two so in this case this is what 
it is greater than 1. So the formula we are to use for our sum of GP is what? A R minus 1. Don't forget your N over R minus 1. Do you see this? Now you see that R is greater than 1. So it will be the 1 to subtract 1. Okay. So now moving on, they said we should find the 8th term, which is S8. Right? And then your A is what? Your first term, 1. And then your R is what? Your R is 2. Your N is what? Your N is 8 minus 1 over 2 minus 1, right? So you have 1. 2 raised to the power of 8 means 2 times 2 times 2 in 8 places. People who have done in this is with us know what we are talking about. It means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. 64 times 2 is 1, 2, 8. 1, 2, 8 times 2 is what? 2, 5, 6. So having known that, you write your answer 256 minus 1 over 2 minus 1 is 1. So you know that 1 times anything in the bracket, but what we'll do what is in the bracket. So 256 minus 1 is 25. So 1 times 255 five over 1. 1 times anything is that thing, right? So 1 times 255 five is 255 five over 1, which is what? 255. Five. So this is our answer, meaning the sum of this series, the first eight sum of this series is 255. I haven't learned the formula for how to find the number of terms of an AP, how to find the nth term of a GP, and how to also find the sum of a GP. Why not do this? work and let me know your answer in the comment section below given the following series that's the series we just worked on first find the tenth term that's the formula we first showed yeah and then secondly find the first the sum sorry find the sum then secondly find the sum of the first 20 terms which is the formula we just showed now okay i hope you're able to understand what we did today okay see you in the next class please do not forget to subscribe like and share to people who would enjoy or actually who would be needing this video until next class do not forget my name is rose bye